YouTube, what's going on? Bobby C back here with another custom handgun quick look. Today we are looking at my full house custom Rogers Precision uh, Chuck Rogers stainless steel Colt 9mm. And um, this is quite a bit different than the first Rogers gun that I featured on the channel, uh, the Black Kimber. This is actually a full house gun. That means, you know, quote unquote, no compromise. Every single aspect of this firearm has been touched and addressed by Chuck. And I have to tell you, it is extremely, extremely special. And anyone that owns a full house Rogers gun will tell you it's very, very, very difficult to come across one or even find one that someone would be willing to part with. So with that said, I wanna walk you through some of the features, um, some thoughts I have, and then just like overall initial impressions of this firearm. And then I'll let you guys, uh, let you guys go. The first thing that's uh, apparent here is the golf balling. So we have golf balls up here on the front strap. These are flawlessly executed by Chuck. Um, Chuck's machine work is just ridiculous in terms of you know execution on uh, metal. We have golf balls on the bottom of the slide stop, on the top of the thumb safety. We have golf balls up on the front plug. And then we have some additional golf balling down here on the mainspring housing, as well as the bottom of the grip safety. And, you know, for, for me, golf balling is just one of those textures that honestly just works on a 1911. This texture in particular is not overly aggressive. However, it definitely serves its purpose in terms of giving you full control of the firearm while, you know, allowing for, you know, the stippling work or the golf balling work to not be uh, painful when handling. You'll also notice the black biohazard grips, which for me, I wasn't the biggest fan of initially when I used to see pictures. However, once I got my hands on a Rogers gun, especially a full house Rogers gun, and I felt the way that Chuck recontours these grips and fits them to the firearm and the way it just kind of wraps and flows through with the front strap and um, back strap treatment, um, I don't think I would really want a uh, Rogers gun without these. Now, you know, don't get me wrong. I'd take a Rogers gun any, of the day, any day of the week, and then I would look to add these to it because the Biohazard um, G10 grip is just fantastic. So let's jump into a few more features um, and just kind of talk through it. So, you know, this example is not as radical or as extreme as a lot of the other Rogers work that's out there. This is much more elegant and classic looking um, without being overdone. But the nice thing with Chuck is anything that he does not only looks aesthetically pleasing, it also serves uh, a function and there's a purpose behind it. So, you know, I can't say enough about that just in regards to, you know, how well uh, thought out uh, Rogers guns are. So let's kind of look up front. We have uh, Chuck's Bob Nose package. Um, it is one of my favorite features of any custom firearm that I own. I just think that that looks amazing. And the ability to reholster with that Bob Nose like that um, certainly adds to, you know, speed and smoothness. Um, you'll see that flush cut reverse crown barrel just looks fantastic, um, followed by some ball cuts moving up to the frame and you know those are flawlessly executed as well uh, going from front to back you'll notice that french border that runs across the top of the gun all the way through as well as a chamfer on the bottom now this chamfer is not as radical or deep as uh, many of the other ones that i found but it's just that subtle detail that really um, looks fantastic on this on this particular stainless colt um, if I look at the back here, you will see Chuck completely recontoured and recut the rear cocking serrations, which for me um, are just a just a treat. I mean, it's overall enhancement and overall look is just amazing. Um, we have a white ball front sight, um, a cart nine millimeter barrel, as well as Chuck's tier one rear sight. And for a fixed sight, I'm not sure that I have dealt with a rear sight in terms of fixed sight um, that's any better than this tier one site. It's probably my favorite. The only one that I would say 
um, gives it its run for its money is Ned Christensen's shield driver sight and they're drastically different in terms of the way they look and um, just some of the the features that both have um, if I was going to make a um, a call in terms of which one I liked more I would probably go with the tier one sight but uh, the shield driver sight is uh, very unique in its own right outside of that um, we have you know essentially every single part on this firearm completely changed swapped out blended recontoured reshaped and made its own piece uh, by Chuck and you know the thumb safety for example the engagement is fluid crisp smooth the grip safety is um, flawlessly blended um, the engagement is perfect everything about this firearm um, I have there's not many things on it that I'm just not completely blown away by um, we can see we have a recessed chamfer for the slide stop we have a, you know a blended magazine release we have a round butted mainspring housing with almost like a Chen Max bevel type of uh, blending um, Chuck has addressed the rear tangs, or I should say the bottom tangs here for training and concealed carry purposes. Anyone that's used a non-Magwell 1911 and has done many draws knows that your hand can catch down here and uh, those can get sharp and uh, painful after, after a while. Um, this has a match grade frame to slide fit. Um, and I'm not gonna take this apart on this particular video, but if you are familiar with Roger's work, um, I'm sure that you would quickly realize and notice that the insides of the gun are addressed and probably have more time than the outside cosmetics. Um, it's just that good. The, the inside of this gun is flawless and uh, it takes quite a bit to impress me in regard to you know, internals of, of a firearm barrel fits there the whole deal it's 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 there's nothing not to love about it i will say that you know the high cut frame is extremely comfortable it gives you a lot more control of the firearm um, however one thing that i am learning as i get deeper into custom handguns is once you start raising uh the cut on the frame uh, my thumb position is usually here and it can cause a little bit of issue with this digging in So I may send this back to Chuck and have this lowered and then re contoured and reblended. Um, and while it's back there, I'm probably going to ask Chuck to replace this curved trigger with a Rogers Precision uh, semi, semi flat trigger with some golf balling up front outside of that this gun is absolutely flawless and perfect nothing more really to say about it other than um, the smoothness of the firearm the reliability that i've experienced with it the accuracy at 25 yards is all there um, and i couldn't be more impressed with you know a stainless steel nine millimeter colt than i am with this one the thing that i will say about this and really all of chuck's work is Chuck has a very unique ability to eliminate all lines and edges while at the same time keeping the contour and the blending so perfect that the line the lines appear to still be there. Um, there is no snag point anywhere. There, these are not sharp edges. They just appear that way because, because of how perfectly machined this firearm is. Um, the trigger guard, for example, I mean, the recontouring and shaping of that um, literally makes it look like it has an edge however it doesn't small little subtleties that I will point out is the angled mag release um, for added ergonomics when doing quick mag changes small things like that will quickly and easily go unnoticed by an untrained eye however there's nothing on this firearm that hasn't been addressed or touched or worked over by Chuck and that's just a testament to you know his level of workmanship and the pride he takes in turning out a real custom gun. So with that said, I will let you guys go. Um, you know, extremely smooth, gun runs like a top. 
one of my top nine millimeters that I own. Um, really, really, really love this thing. So uh, shout out to Chuck Rogers. Kudos to you for putting out such an elegant and um, masterful work of art. Uh, it's functional and it just runs. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Here it is one more time in all its glory. That satin stainless finish, um, glass beaded. Um, there's not a mark on the gun. And, you know, like all my guns, I run them all um, pretty hard. I just don't abuse them. So couldn't ask for anything more out of this one. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Catch you on the next one.